Hello, my name is David and I'm back again with question number 25 for the KCPE year 2019. And since the exam season is now over, I've decided to analyze this question because the oncoming candidate will require this information. This question was about solving uh, of an equation whereby there was an unknown value here x and the question was asking what is the value of x in other words you calculate the value of x that will make this expression or this equation to be true in other words what you put here for the value of x after you solve the left side it should give us the value of 5 now to begin that is our expression and it is important to note that this expression there is a bracket there is a bracket which is encrossing 2x plus 2 and there is a common factor outside the bracket that is 3 over 5 and there is a whole number here minus 1 somebody should note that this is not 1 but minus 1 there could be several ways of solving this equation but I'm only going to analyze one of them whereby I'll start by removing the bracket. I'll remove the bracket first by multiplying everything that is inside the bracket by 3 over 5 and then I will subtract 1. Now, what is inside the bracket is 2x plus 2 and so I have multiplied 3 over 5 by 2x, the first 2x here, and then I have added 3 over 5 multiplied by 2. That is what I meant by saying that I remove the bracket first by multiplying everything that is inside the bracket by 3 over 5 because we refer to this one as a common factor and then from there I subtract 1 to be equivalent to 5. When you take 3 over 5 and then you multiply by 2x you'll find that you'll have 6x over 5 and then th uh, two, uh, 3 over 5 multiplied by 2, you'll get 6 over 5. So on the left side, we have got 6x over 5 plus 6 over 5 minus 1. Then from there, I will take the f I will get the LCM of 5, which is just 5, and then I solve this part here in the normal way whereby I will take the LCM, which is 5, I divide by 5, I get 1, and then I multiply by 6x to get 6x. Again, I take 5, I divide by this other 5 here, I get 1, and then I multiply by 6 to get 6. That part alone will give me 6x plus 6 over 5. And then I should not forget that I should subtract 1 to be equivalent to 5. Then I want to remove the minus 1 here from the left side. And this can be done by adding 1 on both sides. What will happen? If I take 6x plus 6 over 5 minus 1, I add 1 onto the left side and then I add 1 onto the right side. This side will give me 0. But on the other side, I will have 6. So on the left side, I will have 6x plus 6 over 5 to be equals to 6. Remember here, I have got a denominator 5. And I should remove this denominator 5 here. So, to remove this denominator 5 here, I should multiply by 5 on both sides. What do I mean? I should take uh, 6x plus 5 over 5. I multiply by 5 on the left side. And on the right side, I should also multiply by 5. This now will make this 5 here to be eliminated because if you divide by 5 here you get 1 and by 5 on the other side you get 1 but on the right side I will have 30 so on the left side I will have 6x plus 6 to be equivalent to 30 the next thing is now to remove this plus 6 here by subtracting 6 from both sides what does that mean 6x plus 6 I should subtract 6 and on the right side I, I should also subtract 6. So the plus 6 minus 6, this one will give me 0. But on the left side I will be left with 24. So 6x should be equivalent to 
24. Again, I should remove this 6 here. Note that this is 6 times x to be equals to 24. To remove this 6, I should divide by 6 again on both sides. That is, 6x I should divide by 6. 24 I should also divide by 6. That should be done on both sides. And once you divide 6 by 6, you'll, you'll find that you'll be left with 1. And so on the left side, you'll be left with 6, rather with x. And on the right side, you'll be left with 4. And therefore, the value of x should be equals to 4. It should be equals to 4. And actually, if you insert 4 here, 2 you multiply by 4, you should get 8. 8 plus 2 is 10. 3 over 5 multiplied by 10. If you simplify that one, you'll find that you'll be left here with 6. And 6... If you subtract 1, you should get 5. And therefore, if you go to the choices A, B, C, D, you'll find 4 being given as choice C, and that could have been the appropriate answer for that question. Otherwise, continue subscribing to this channel, and you'll get more and more analyzed questions. Thank you very much.